Welcome to another review here on our YouTube channel and today I'm going to talk about an old friend you could say about the Schmidt & Bender 5 to 25 by 56 PM2 scope. You have probably seen quite a few reviews of this scope uh, on our channel from the past but now in 2022 we have a I would say an updated refreshed in car industry they say facelifted uh, model and a lot of things have changed honestly speaking because I think that this scope came out in 2012 for the first time and it became a benchmark for all tactical scopes almost at the beginning uh, but you know in 10 years a lot of things change and this is also the reason why this scope got so many refer refreshments one thing which is also immediately noticeable now, uh, ever since this month, I think, is the new packing. Because er anybody who bought an old Schmidt Bender scopes probably remembers these boxes. And even these boxes are not the same like they were um, 10 years ago. But now in 2022, they really stepped up their game in terms of how you're getting your scope. So with this foam and uh, this is made 100% out of paper, so it's uh, recyclable. But still, the scope is much more protected against all the bumps and everything that can happen uh, on the way to your doorstep when you're buying it. So this is a big change into the positive direction for Schmidt & Bender. They also include much better cleaning cloth now. Uh, and also the warranty changed quite a lot. So now you're getting like a My Rifle Scope card with it. And the warranty now is like uh, 10 years fully. Then if you do an online registration, you get additional two years. Normally on the, all the electronics, there is two years of warranty and they guarantee that they will have parts for this scope to be uh, repaired in any kind of situation for 20 years. So this also changed a lot. And with this card, all the data of your scope are on this card. So if you just put it in your wallet or so, you know, your gun safe or somewhere, you can always know when your scope was made, uh, when the warranty started to run, when you did the registration and, uh, online and so on. Also the quality of all of this uh, additional papers uh, you're getting now is much, much better than it was before because Honestly speaking, like 10 years ago, when you bought a Schmidt & Bender scope, you got a really premium product of great quality and so on. But like the packing and everything else was not really that important. It was not only with Schmidt Bender, also with uh, Hensoldt and similar scopes, it was like the packing didn't matter. But honestly speaking, when you're paying like 3,500, 4,000, maybe even 4,500 euros for a product, the packing also matters. So now it's more like uh, Apple style, I would say, on a much, much higher level. The same applies for uh, the um, instruction manual. Now it's, this is a really a proper instruction manual with all the details and data and everything inside in multiple languages. Uh, so much much better than before and I really like this uh, step into the positive direction. You also get some stickers with it. So free marketing for Schmidt & Bender. Very very smart because a lot of their customers are true fans and you get an Allen key for um, setting the zero, uh, the zero stop basically on the turrets. What's also new with this scope is that now everything is metal. So now also the magnification ring is metal. It's really, really sharp. So it's much easier to, to handle it. And it would also, I believe, um, stand against time much better than the rubber one, which was here before and normally the turrets are really new. So in 2021, I think already, they started to cut all the options on these scopes. Uh, and in 2022, they introduced quite a lot of new turret designs. This is something what is really special with Schmidt & Bender because they invest, I would say, the most effort among all producers of uh, tactical scopes into turrets. So you're able to get so many different options of different turrets on, on, on their scopes, because with majority of other manufacturers of tactical scopes, you have one simple turret choice and that's it. Maybe you're able to choose clockwise or counterclockwise rotation, but with Schmidt & Bender, you're able to choose uh, almost anything. So the scope is still 41 centimeters long. It is still almost 1.1 kilogram 
of weight, 34 millimeter main tube, uh, made in Germany normally, really tried and tested because honestly speaking, there is almost no military, at least in the NATO countries that wouldn't use this scope. And this scope was really went through almost unimaginable um, stuff in, in all the war crisis and so on. So this scope is really produced to, to, to stand about, uh, against any challenge. And it was really tried and tested by so many different armies. So you are getting something that is, um, I would say, quite unique because when this scope came out, there was not a lot of competition in this class of mil mil tactical long range scopes. Now there is a flood of options, but uh, not many options can say that they went through so many different situations and so many different hard challenges than this one. So the scope is still waterproof. They say up to three meters, but I know that these scopes were tested all the way down to 25 meters in the in the previous, um, oh, it's here in this manual. They said that it's waterproof more than three meters. But I know that uh, they used to test these scopes even in salt water down to 25 meters below uh, the sea level. So these scopes are really made to last. You, anyone who had any experience with Schmidt and Merrill scopes know that they are really excellently built and that their fit and finish is really close to perfect. Okay, so now if we talk about uh, the turrets. So on this particular model, this is a double turn second generation turret. It, it's um, marked as DT with a, a Roman 2 Plus. Uh, it's a very different design than it was previously. So basically still you get 14 mils of revolution in the first turn. Then when you go into the second turn, you get a nice turn indicator, mechanical one. A pin pops out at the top, you see here. So another pin came out. But the locking mechanism is completely different than it was in previous turrets on this scope. So the previous uh, uh, more tactile uh, zero stop locking turrets were much higher and the locking mechanism went up and down. You can check in, in my previous reviews. Here now the turret is much lower, slimmer. So it's much easier to mount, let's say a red dot on a, uh, on a barrel of the, on the tube of the scope or on, the, on your scope mounts. And the turrets will not be too big. They will not obstruct your uh, field of view. And at the same time, I would also say that uh, the feeling of these turrets are, the click feel is just perfect. And also the audible, one of the best turrets on the market. What's really special is that now the locking mechanism is on, uh, on the side, it works like this, you see. And you have an indicator inside here. You see the red means it's locked. The green means it's unlocked, but it's really simple. When you see the green, that means that more tactile function will work. That means that every full mil, so on every full number here, the click will be more tactile. That, that means the MTC. LT means locking turret. DT means double turn. So it goes in two revolutions. 27 mils in total of, um, evolution, uh, of elevation. But if you move the locking switch even further back, then you see you get the black color inside of this window. And now there is no MTC function. So basically you are able to choose with the locking mechanism if you wish to have the MTC. So more tactile clicks on every full mil or not. Really smart, really, really smart. On the vintage turret, it's different. You only have green and red. Red is locked, green is unlocked, and you have MTC only on zero. So on zero, you get a more tactile click, and on zero, you know exactly that you came to zero. What's also different on this uh, refreshed model is that the position of zero is up here, so it's easier for the shooter to see, not in the middle of the tube like it was before. The same applies for the illumination. You know that new 6 to 36 scopes, they even come with the illumination turret here on the parallax. Uh, the parallax is still the same, it goes from 10 meters all the way to infinity, it's really nice, it has a lot of travel and a nice feel to it, really good. And again, the 
parallax is also marked up here, not in the center of the uh, tube anymore, because Schmidt and Meller noticed that um, markings up here are much better visible than if they are in the center of the tube. Very, very smart. Small stuff, but uh, it changes the way you use the scope a lot. Uh, I also think even though with new Schmidt and Manners we will probably see a lot more um, scopes with um, illumination turret on the parallax turret, like the whole industry is using this, uh, this design. I still like this unique Schmidt and Bender feature that they have a turret, uh, the third turret on the, on the tube. Even though you're losing some, um, I would say, mounting surface, it's such a unique Schmidt and Bender feature that you immediately know this is a Schmidt and Bender when you see it. Uh, the clicks on this model are uh, one centimeter, so 0 0.1 mil. You can also get the new multi-turn, second generation turrets here, which have a five millimeter click on 100 meters. So a lot of clicks. I prefer one centimeter and I would say majority of the users of this scope will probably prefer um, one centimeter clicks over five millimeter clicks, even though it's still possible to have it. You, you saw that you get an Allen key with it. So with the, you just um, use it uh, on these two uh, screws to unscrew them and then you're able to set the zero stop and zero stop goes three clicks below zero yeah I have to go one full revolution so it actually stops three click below zero which is very very positive uh, a lot of shooters will need sometimes to go below zero either due to temperature change altitude change or if you have a special mission that you need to shoot from a room through a small hole in the wall you need to step back a little bit, then you will also need, uh, when you do the calculations, how to get the bullet through the, through the hole in the wall, and you also need to go below zero sometimes. So um, with this Allen key, it's really easy to set the, the zero, zero stop basically. And you have to know that uh, Schmidt and Meller turrets are usually made in a way that they click when you're setting the zero stop. Don't, don't panic at that time. They are not like Kales and other uh, manufacturers, which uh, you basically turn the turret and there are no clicks and nothing. Um, Schmidt and Mender uses a little bit of a different approach. But when you when you unscrew these screws, nothing moves inside of the mechanism. So even if the turret clicks, you're still at zero. Regarding the reticles, in the past this scope was available with either uh, first focal plane or second focal plane. Uh, there were also in the past uh, this scope was available with uh, MOA clicks. Uh, I'm glad that they, these options are gone. So now basically you get first focal plane and mil clicks or uh, 0 0.1 mil or 0, 0 0.5 mil. So one centimeter or five millimeter click on 100 meters. Much easier to use as a, as a mil mil scope, um, especially for the calculations and so on. In terms of reticles, you have quite a few new choices. This particular scope has a new P5L reticle. I remember eight years ago, six years ago, this scope was really sold a lot with a P4 reticle. So now the, the P5 is improved version, very nice, but it's not a, like now it's a standard uh, feature in majority of these scopes that they have a, like a Christmas tree reticle. Uh, the P5 uh, reticle is not like that. It's a simple reticle, just a cross with different markings. Um, I would say for, for the European side of things, I prefer this simple reticles because usually you don't see uh, bullet marks as well as let's say in the desert or somewhere it's really, really dry where you can use the Christmas tree reticle designs much better. Even though these scopes are also available with horse, horse reticles, so with Christmas tree designed reticles, but they are much, much more expensive due to uh, patent rights which need to be paid to horrors. Uh, illumination, it's really easy to operate. So 11 different stages. On the 11th side they're almost daytime bright and only the central part of the reticle is illuminated. Again something what I really prefer um, and I would say it's much much better than when the whole reticle is illuminated even though some users like it but usually it's just too much. Um, if I go further, um, in regards to optical performance, 
this scope is a little bit older so in terms of optics things did advanced uh, even with schmidt and bender you know they're uh, 3 to 27 high power model and they also have 5 to 45 model so this scope features five times zoom 5 to 25 and schmidt and bender also produces scopes with nine times zoom so uh, uh, but like i said even new options for schmidt and bender are not so tried and tested as this one this is like a workhorse of this whole category of scopes. Honestly speaking, if somebody would say, which is the most characteristic mil mil long range tactical scope in the world, this one. And it's really tried and tested. So uh, 56 millimeter objective lens. I didn't mention that you get a, a tactical tough uh, flip up covers from uh, Tenebrex. Really nice. Um, so 56 millimeter objective lens. 5 to 25 uh, times magnification. Field of view is uh, 5.3 meters at 5 and 1.5 meter at 25. I do have to know, mention that um, like with many older optical designs, this scope does suffer from um, tunnel effect all the way from below 7. So from 7 below, you get shrinking of image. So you get a little bit of tunnel effect. And I used to ask Schmidt and Mender people a lot why this happens and so on. And they said majority of users doesn't even use this scope below 10 or 8. Uh, all in all, like I said, even Schmidt and Mender improved this in their new versions of scopes. Uh, but I would say that for majority of users of this scope, it's true. They will rarely use it below 7. Um, the eye relief is around 9.5 centimeters. So... Uh, 95 millimeters and the light transmission rate is really good 90 plus they say but in all the tests and so on this scope uh, is always among the best in terms of low light um, performance where is also among the best i'm sure you googled around and i tested it also so it doesn't matter if i say that uh, i think precision rifle block also did a comparison test many years ago among all different scopes and this one um, came up on top in terms of optical resolution at the highest magnification or at least above 20 and i also from my observation is that when you go above 20 this scope is really in terms of resolution really really good uh, so it somehow um, repays for the tunnel effect at the lower on the lower end um, Okay, so I think I can do a short summary. This is the part of the review that majority of people wait in my reviews. We see this from YouTube analytics. So I would say what is really positive about this scope is definitely the turret design. So the amount of effort Schmidt and Banner invests in their turret designs, which are completely different than anyone else in, is producing in this industry. And how many options you have with the turrets. Uh, you can choose how many revolu uh, uh, how many clicks you will have in, in a revolution. You can choose what kind of locking mechanism. You're even able to configure this turret to have either MTC feature or not, which is really great. You're able to decide if you wish to have this or not. Uh, just with the turn of a switch, really, really great. So the turrets are definitely a highlight of the scope. Build quality in general also is a, is a highlight of this scope. I would also say that this almost legendary status among all tactical scopes that this particular model has is something that is really unique. I have I know many customers from our shop, many users that prefer this scope over all new designs. Even though, honestly speaking, when you see high power scopes for shit and men, they're really great. But people still believe and trust this scope more because it was tested so much and because it's used so widely in this military and police um, sphere. I also like the amount of options you get with this scope. Normally the new all metal design. And finally the Schmidt and Bender did so much, uh, such a big leap forward in terms of packing and everything that you get with the scope, especially with the warranty and registration and so on. So this is a big leap forward uh, and I do think that in this price class, this is also very important. So where is room for improvement? Uh, definitely tunnel effect on five to seven. This is known 
issue with the scope. It's not an issue, but it's something what you see. Uh, but honestly speaking, I also don't know many users who use this scope below seven. It's a long range scope, so you don't need this lower magnification range that much. I also think that the price is quite steep. We are talking about 4,000 euros scope. It's really, really, and it's getting steeper and steeper with, with each year. So it's the scope is becoming, um, I would say, more expensive through each year. I also think that size and weight could have been tackled a little bit. 1.1 kilogram, really a lot, and 41 centimeters of length. Uh, the optical design really improved in this. Um, in this regard because you have many similar scopes which are much shorter but apart from that uh, i would say that there is still a lot of things that everybody else in the industry can learn from this scope not only on turrets but also on all other stuff so what about competition well when this scope came out and i would say let's say in 2016 there was really not a lot of competitors not a lot of competitors that could match everything what this scope has to offer now the situation is a little bit different. There are many competitors. Uh, you have Kales, you have March, you have Minox, you have Tang and Teta, Night Force with Beasts, Steiner, Leica entered this market, Zeiss entered this market, and you have Lup Lupold, Mark V's, Mark VII's. There is a lot of competition everywhere. Mm. But you have to understand that not our competitors are the same. If you look at, let's say, Leica and Zeiss, they came recently into this segment and they're basically doing scopes for PRS competitions. So when you need to, I would say, when you're looking for a tried and tested military scope, this is still a different animal, how to say. It's not, it's like comparing apples and, and peers. It's not, it's not the same, even though you could say, okay, they function the same, they, they, they have similar features, they're all mil-mil and so on. They do not cater the same customers because somebody buying this scope means that his life will depend on this scope. With a lot of other options, it's more like, okay, I'm a sport shooter and I go on competitions and so on. It's, it's not completely the same game. Uh, but still, there are really a lot of competitors uh, and things are changing, so I would say, all in all, if I go through final thoughts, um, this scope is for people who really like to have tried and tested solutions and proven products. For someone who will be willing to, I would say, depend his life on this scope. These are the customers for this scope. I also think that for those guys who are searching for, I would say, almost a legend, among all tactical scopes, this is this is the go-to model. Um, reliability, this scope proved that it's really reliable and so on. So it's more for, I would say, someone who is really searching for a military grade, police grade, uh, products who doesn't wish to try new stuff, to, to, to see if, if new stuff works or not and so on. For someone who is willing to pay for top premium quality on a proven, I would say battle proven product on a really top military grade. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please use the comment section below and see you in the next video.